Bradley, somebody named Bradley down in Imperial. Damn, my boy want 425 for this house. It's probably a very nice house. I imagine it being extremely beautiful. If it costs 425, that bad boy better be a mansion. Four bedroom, three bath, 2,500 square feet. Zestimate says 430. Beautiful house. Don't look like it need anything. Um, it looked like it was listed for rent for 3000 back in June, but I don't know what happened there. Maybe it did not rent. Listing removed. And then um, they had it listed for 340, uh, 434000 back in March of this year. Actually, I lied. They started at 445, then dropped it to 434. And now today they're telling us they want 425. We're not paying anywhere near that. We like 350, bro. And the house don't need any work. Beautiful house. Beautiful house. Would you want to move in this house? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Everything's all bright, agreeable gray. I don't see anything wrong with the house. So let me look back at the notes for Bradley. Let's see what he said here. In the notes, he says. 25 all as is cash no it didn't say anything about the mortgage additional notes it's a brand new house been on and off the market we'll let it go for 425 so if somebody told you they will let it go that already sounded like he's not motivated but i'm just i'm not going to go off of that i'm going to have a quick conversation with him and make sure he's not motivated you want to always be sure of motivation so let's call him bradley real quick down in Imperial. Beautiful house, by the way. Beautiful house. What up, Brad? This your man. Unified notary in the building. Hello? Hey, Brad. Bradley? This is Chris. You spoke to my assistant the other day about your property on Sierra View Place. Did you get a soldier? Yeah, I mean, no. Oh, okay. Are you? See, I don't understand these. I don't understand these phone calls. Are you guys legit? Like, I, I'm. I'm very legit. I'm actually a house okay. buyer. So if you want to buy it as an investment, pro as an investment property, you can. It's a great investment. I did not. I bought it. It's got $154,000 worth of upgrades. The only thing that it doesn't have is, is a deck in the back. That's about twelve grand, fourteen grand. I've had it quoted. But here's the deal, man. You want that house? Write me a check for four thirty five, dollars and it's yours. Stop calling. And I'm not taking a monthly Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. House. I don't know why you're so upset. I don't know who got you wadded up, but it's not me. So Because you guys keep calling I don't, me about it. I don't, it wasn't me. I don't know who, who called you about it. It well, wasn't me. You just said someone from... They've called me many a time. And I guess my, my point is, is, you want to buy it? Buy it. <laughs> what do so, you mean? So as far as this property here, um, as far as an investment, though, it probably wouldn't work at that because that's like a retail price, right? That 435 is is a, is a very good price. It, it appraised at 455 Yeah, for us to buy it as an investment, we'd probably be in the 300s. Okay. So do you buy houses for investment or do you buy houses to sell and no, we keep them for investment. We have a lot of properties all across St. Louis. So then why would you call about a 400000 plus dollar house when you deal with 300000 in the investment range? Well, I didn't say we do any 300000 anything. I said as far as this, we wouldn't pay full retail for a property as an investment. Okay. And so, you know, I know you right. probably understand that. And I'm not why trying to... Why would I sell it to you for three hundred grand? <laughs> well, my question really is, why would you sell it at all? Is there a real reason you need to sell it or you really don't need to sell it? I live in... Oh, okay. I'm never moving back to that state. So, are you, what, are you going to just list it or something, I guess, and sell it? Or? Sell that, say that again. So, you planning on just listing it on the market and trying to sell it that way or something, I guess? Probably, yeah. I've got a renter in it now. Oh, okay. So, it is rented. I didn't know that part. See, I was under the assumption yeah. it was vacant. I mean, it's rented, but there's clauses in the contract that say that I can show it and I give them 24 hours of notice and it's in show condition. So, and then I mean, what, what, what is the rental rate? And I, I mean, it cash flows. Like you can get 3500 a month for that house. 
What is it rented for now? 28, or excuse me, 30, 32. 3,200. Yeah, let me check the numbers on that because that might work, you know, uh, if it's cash flowing 3,200 right now. Um, yeah, the mortgage on it's 23. Is that a long term um, tenant or something, I guess? It's a fixed 30, yeah. Okay. Well, and it's it, not a non qualifying assumable. I, I couldn't do that. But, I mean, I'm not a mortgage guy. Well, <clears throat> Well, I was going to, I'll go ahead. Yeah, so we wouldn't necessarily be looking to assume the loan or anything like that. We do buy houses creatively. There is a way that we can get you your purchase price, um, but it would be something more creative to get up to that number. Here's what I need. I need my, I need my, I, I, this is what I did. Okay, I'm going to be transparent. And once I am transparent with you, you probably won't call me. <laughs> okay, here's, here's the thing. I own the house outright, okay? It's not outright. There is a there is a loan against it. Okay, there is a mortgage. I need forty grand out of that house. What I put in, if I can get that, I walk away from it. I will. I'm done. So there is a way we can get you forty grand in your pocket. You write me a check for forty grand in my pocket, and you and you buy that house. It's done. Okay. Yeah. Let me look into that because that sounds like something we may be able to do. I so forty no grand net to you. Not a penny more, not a penny less. I, that's forty grand. I'll even go down to thirty-five. Let me put that in my notes here. If so you want to work with me on this? Thirty-five k, and it's yours. So I need, I need my walk away money and thirty-five k. And you said the payment on it is twenty-three hundred a month. Is that right? Like twenty-two, like twenty-two sixty-two. And does that include the taxes and insurance? No taxes and insurance are another six. Four, no. It's fifty four hundred a year in that area. Fifty three twenty five is actually what the fifty fifty three insurance on it. I got a policy with State Farm. Full content five hundred thousand replacement cost. It's one hundred fourteen a month. So you're looking at four hundred three hundred ninety seven a month. So three ninety seven. Uh, it's twenty five hundred. So about twenty five hundred. Okay. Yeah. So that it's makes sense. Cash flow. It, it cash flows, and I've got in there that will sign a two once this year's up they'll sign a two-year lease okay perfect and they will stay at that thirty two hundred dollars a month rent mm -hmm. okay. okay yeah so let me see if i can structure something for you with this because i mean it, I, we've done deals like this where we actually just gave somebody the money and then left the loan in place and we just made payments on it and they didn't have to deal with the house anymore especially with you being out of town and they're damn good How much is still owed on it now? Houses are going up down there because two things. Schools. Are you from that area? I'm from South St. Louis. Yeah, I'm from St. Louis. Okay. Are you in Kirkwood? No, no. I, I was living in South County. I moved out of that area now, but I was okay, in Kirkwood. Okay. You know where Princeton Heights is? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know where, uh, shit, what's that park? Are you know where Lind Lind Lindbergh and Hampton is? Yes. Okay. I had a I had a 38 gingerbread for years and I rehabbed it and sat on that house, sat on that house, and finally sold it, made good money on that house. But the house had everything, new windows, new floors, new plaster. I renovated a ton of stuff. I spent probably 70 grand on that house and it came back to me. I got it in, you know, a little bit, but not much, but I got it. So I moved out to the county and I found this subdivision, this ham, this, uh, uh, Hunt Huntington Glen and, the builder's McBride. <clears throat> now, McBride at the 200 to 250 to 350 price range, they suck because they use uh, they use uh, cheaper material. What do you call it? Well, it's that. But here's the thing: they use uh, union labor, and they're all union. And so these union guys don't give a shit because they get paid if they show up. So. When you 
you get into this upper end stuff, it's like over 400. And I specifically went in. I mean, it's got soft close caps. It's got a trash compactor. It's got full GE, stainless, fingerprintless. Dude, it's got everything. It's got everything but marble floors. And, I mean, it's got the, the LTV, the, the luxury uh, vinyl plank um, flooring that looks like actual wood. It's got, it's variegated. It's really cool, but it's, it's, uh, it's plank. Um, you know, like I said, I did not build a deck. Um, it needs one. It doesn't, I don't think it would kill the sale, but I mean, eventually someone's going to build a deck. You get, somebody asked, I had an offer on the house. They lowballed me and they wanted, they, they were saying, I'll do 410. I said, no, I'm not doing it. I'll keep it for that. And I said, you, you give me 425 and I'll give you 10,000 back at closing to build that deck and they said no we don't we don't want to do that it's going to cost more and i said okay again the deal is it's a great neighborhood but it's got great schools that house will rent because there was another one that was shitty had no basement i mean it was a basement but it had it wasn't finished this one's finished out um it was renting for 3200 i put this thing on a Apartments.com or rent.com. Three days it got rent. Wow, that was quick. Three days at that price point. Mm. And so, yeah, I think we could so, probably yeah. work something out with this. Uh, how much is still owed on it? Um, I have to find out. I don't know. I can't tell you. I don't know that number. Okay. I don't know that number. I think it's. I want to say it's three. It's north of. 350 I cannot remember. Okay. So so your main goal is get you 35,000 cash in your pocket and you'll let I'll that... say, I, you know, I originally said 40. I, I'll go, I've been trying to work, I've got another guy that's, that's talking to me. I said, look, I'll go as low as 35, I'll give you the same deal. If I can walk away with 35, some certified funds in my bank, I'll sign that house over to you. ASAP. Okay. Yeah, let me see what I can do on it. Let me do a little research on this here. That's my equity, that's my equity stash in that house and I have to have it. I understand that. I want to make sure to get as okay. much as you can out of it. So I'll let you get back to your day, and I'll text you my information so you'll know who you spoke to, uh, Chris, with St. Louis Cash Miles, okay? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's not that. It's just I get all kinds of calls, and I don't go online and register my number. I don't. I'm a very private person. And so I don't know how. I know they can get my phone number from taxes. I know they can get my phone number from literally anywhere. But I've been getting these calls lately, you know, saying, hey, you know, uh, this is Brad. Well, who the hell is this? <laughs> I'm not going to throw my name out because, I don't know, I've had identity theft before and it sucks. Mm. And, you know, they say, well, we're interested in your house. Well, if you're interested, you got to know more about it because it's on the MLS. So if you're anything in real estate, I'm not. You should know about the house. Right. And you looked on Zillow. If you're hunting houses, go on Zillow, rental.com, you know, or realtor.com. Find out what the house is about before you call the person. Exactly. I just, I don't know. If it's a, I don't know if it's a roto dial shit and they just try to get somebody at a weak point and think, okay, they'll talk to me. But this one gal kept calling me and I don't know if it was affiliated with you or not. It doesn't matter. But she kept calling me and I was like, what do you need? Like, right. Why do you she keep said, calling oh, me? <laughs> I want to buy your house. Are you interested in selling your house? That's a, that's a weird question. Yeah. Somebody you don't know calls you and says, hey, man, you're you, interested in selling your house. What, why? Why are you asking me that? Mm -hmm. Well, I think I a lot of it that. comes from... I'm so-and-so from some, some, some investment group, and we buy and sell houses, and we're in the real estate business, and we'd like to talk to you. Be a little bit more professional. Yeah, that, that is correct. So a lot I of this comes I, from... I service business. I'm weird, so. <laughs> yeah, I believe a lot of this uh, comes from, like, from it being listed on the MLS. So once it goes on there and it goes expired or it's removed, people actually look at those like, hey, they had it on the MLS and it didn't sell, so let's call them and see if they want to sell still. So that's probably where a lot of people have found you from or probably came across your information because once it hits that, the world knows that, hey, this person's looking to sell. Whether they sold or not, we don't know, so that's why people just call and, you know, bug you like that. But, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll run some numbers on this. Okay, well, if you, if, if, you, if you can, let me know. And what was your name? My name is Chris with St. Louis Cash Bars. I'm going to text you my information right okay. after this call as well so you can have it. And uh, let me see if I can structure something to, uh, you know, get this wrapped up for you pretty easily. If you can structure, if you can structure it, I'll do the deal, uh, Chris. So if you've got that kind of, if you've got that kind of, you know, ability.
ability to do that and structure a deal around it, dude. Let's talk. Okay, perfect. I love it. All so right, the, all right thanks. Have a good day. All right, bye bye. And y'all was finna hang up on him. I said you finna hang up. I saw you. You had your finger on a button, man. You got to let these people vent sometime. And then I gave him a little pushback. Did yeah. you like that? that? That was not normal. I said, let me give him some pushback. You talking to say, hey, man, it wasn't me, man. It wasn't me, man. And he said, oh, yeah, well, let me back up. You see, yeah. some people think they can t buck up. You're supposed to whittle down and get small. Ooh, don't get me. Man, do you know who you're talking to? I don't play that mess. I don't take no smack from nobody. So, yeah, we got Mr. Bradley sounding like he's really ready to do a deal. He even opened up saying he was not taking payments or doing anything creative. Now, all of a sudden, I'm open to doing something creative. How did that happen? It all comes down to what, ladies and gentlemen? Conversation. Conversation. How good is your conversation? That's the question of the day. Can you speak to people in a way to make them resonate with you, want them to open up to you, tell you their pains, their problems, their situation? Can you do it? Most people can't. But if you master that communication, you'll get more deals than you can even count. So what do you think about his level of motivation on a scale of one to 10? How do you give that? Low is one, 10 is like, damn, I'm motivated. One to 10, how motivated was that guy, Mr. Bradley? Brad. Let me put a note in here, spoke to, and what did he say? He spoke to uh, loan balance 350. K plus payments. What do you say the payments was? 2300 plus taxes and insurance. You got a good insurance policy on that replacement cost value. Currently rented for 3200 And they want to stay for long term if possible. I don't know if that's a good deal. I mean, I guess it is. So you say eight or nine, eight or nine. Okay. Yeah, he was pretty damn motivated. I mean, it, once I broke through, you know how hard it is to break through? Because it's kind of like a cold call, but I don't talk to people like a cold call. I talk to him like I know him as a friend from way back in the day. What's up, Brad, my man? Or whatever, you know? I don't really like to get on people and sound like a robot, sound like everybody else, like you're reading a script. Sound like a person. Currently rented at 3200 Motivated. Oh shit! Push the wrong button. Motivated. Level is an eight. We'll give him an eight, and we're gonna do a follow up with him. Let me put him in here as a follow up. Follow up. Follow up. It's time for some follow up calls, y'all. It's time for some follow up calls, y'all. Follow up. Follow up. Pick up the phone. Let's go. Hello. Hello. 